Tonight, three people, three drivers go for the championship in the United Sim Racing Championship JTT Series at Las Vegas. And we are here to put it on for you here on First News Only TV. Chris Scallop here in the booth. There is a look at your standings going into this evening's race. Marcus Richardson leading by three over Bobby Cheney. Uh, Derek Bordeaux third in points. And those three tonight will settle it out to figure out who will be the champion and the first ever United Sim Racing Championship JTT Series here at Vegas. So hopefully you're having a great night. We're going to go down and talk to the drivers as usual. <coughs> drivers, welcome into Las Vegas for the final race of the season. want to pre uh, thank Darren Moyer for uh, sponsoring the race. Of course, Jonathan for the series. Appreciate you guys coming out here and racing here uh, this evening. 70 laps tonight. Uh, leaders start on green. Obviously, uh, you guys know the speed limit now has changed by five mile an hour, so be aware of that during your pit stops. You still need to enter on the back straightaway. Leaders start on green. Restarts, you can start whenever you'd like. Uh, three guys tonight going for the championship, guys, so let's be aware of that. Marcus, Derek, and Bobby all within striking distance of each other and can win the championship this evening. So um, I'm not saying race different than you do, but obviously be aware who's around you and that kind of stuff so we won't affect it. So with that said, good luck and uh, congrats, Marcus, on the poll. And uh, thanks, guys, for racing. Have a good one. All right, let's take a look at our starting lineup. As you know, the new build just came out, so we're learning things as we go. And I tell you what, I'm already complimenting this new uh, thing here. Look at this. How about this one? Justin Gable, that's not right. Got a, there we go. Marcus Richardson going to start on the poll. Uh, Kyle Putz going to start second, 31-492. Uh, let's see, Derek Bordeaux going to start third, Ariadne in fourth, Bobby Chaney fifth, Eric Sable going to start in the sixth position, uh, Justin Gable going to start in seventh, uh, Caressel eighth, Garrett ninth, Malish going to start tenth, the qualifying is right here, one of the mouse was, by the way. Uh, north, we're going to start 11th, Andy Moore 12th, Pop's going to start 13th, Pancari I know is not going to be here tonight, not sure about Mike Weir, yep, he's back there in the back, and Gene Yates. So let's see, well, I'm worried about this ticker, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. Doesn't look like it is. Anything going across the screen. That's not good. We knew we were going to have some bugs tonight. See if I can get it to work for us. Hmm, doesn't appear so. <coughs> Excuse me. The lap part should change itself, obviously, when they cross the start finish line. Now let's take the interval part off. It's all right. We'll make it work. I'm sure there'll be a new update out. I'll keep you up to date over here who's running where. How's that? We'll make it work tonight. 70 laps going to make the race tonight. It's an extra five laps than what we've been running lately. But that'll be the race here at Las Vegas tonight. Sit back. We're going to crown ourselves the champion this evening when it is all said and done. Pace car is in. The final race of the JTT series is green. Okay, it's not going to change either. All right, we'll just do this. Goodbye. Let's go to the old school ticker. <clears throat> we'll make it work. Important, who's going to lead lap one? Oh, Marcus. A point leader leads lap one. That's very important. Bonus point for him already. Bordeaux has not given it up. Looking for Bobby Cheney. He's back in sixth. He's in that 99 Taco Bell car. Marcus leading lap two. Bordeaux going to fall to third as Kyle Putz going to move to second. 
Chaney outside of Ariadne for fifth. Got him. Three laps in, Marcus leading them so far. This is the first, I wouldn't know if this is the first broadcasted race on a new build. This could be, that'd be cool. Probably not though. These cars definitely handling pretty well right now. Again, 40% fuel in these cars, so they're going to go about 20 laps on a tank of fuel, and they will be to pit road. You're going to see at least three stops this evening. Unfortunately, the uh, IRTVO not working with the new build, which I wasn't surprised because obviously there's the new stuff coming out the adjustment so unfortunately not able to put the new ticker up that I have but well it's not really new but that battle on for third that's Sable on the outside of Buffalo Wild Wings car <clears throat> Bordeaux giving him room here comes Cheney and Cheney gonna go around for fourth now Bordeaux's the one who's got to throw the wild, uh, the uh, Hail Mary. Bordeaux 10 points back going into this race. So because of that, obviously, Derek is the one throwing the Hail Mary here to try to win that championship potentially. Sable trying to make another move towards the front, looking on the outside of that Ada Puts, not able to do so. Back here. Oh, contact! And a save. Mike Weir with a save. Wow. Watch this. Gates gets into the back of the 96. He's going four-wheel sliding, boys. And a save. Impressive. Back to live. Bobby and Bordeaux still back here battling. I mentioned Bordeaux, he's down 10 points in this race. So Marcus has almost got a fallout in Bordeaux win to win the championship. Bobby, on the other hand, he's just got to try to beat Marcus by three or so spots. And the one thing that was not put in this league, uh, in this uh, series, that will be added in next series, really the one change as of right now, there could be some others coming, but the one change that will be uh, in for next year is this series this year does not have a bonus uh, for a win. You don't get bonus points for a win. Next season, that bonus will be in play, so. So it's basically Bobby's got to finish four positions ahead of Marcus, literally. Well, five now with the uh, laps being led by Marcus. And the battle's on back here for fourth. James going to clear Bordeaux trying to make a move. Ariadne there in the 19. There's Justin Gable in the 10. Jason Garrett in the 73. 13 and Nick Caressel back here. And the battle, Jordan Malish and Gene Yates.
That is for the tenth position right here, the 90 or uh, 94 and 31. Now there will be some changes next year in the schedules and the broadcasting also uh, that we will discuss the battle here between Pops and Andy Moore for the 14th position. Changes coming next season. Uh, you will see me racing with these guys. Uh, they requested that I come out here and race with them. So I'm going to come race with them starting next season. So pretty much all of these races will not be live anymore. Uh, they will be delayed uh, broadcasted. And the, these cars will be running on Thursdays starting next season. So, which is coming up in like two weeks. We'll discuss that all coming up too. Meanwhile, Sable looking underneath the eight. Oh, Bordeaux's in the wall. I think Putz got the wall too. And that might allow Cheney to make a move here. Nope. backs out of it. Let's put Tadari continue on. Some great racing here. Sable up to the second position. And back here's a battle. AC Northrop getting past Malish. Mike Weir to 96 trying to work his way back up there. Meanwhile, Kyle puts there. Going to clear Ariadne. Here comes Cheney. Going to clear back behind. That's for the fourth position. Battle for the lead. Starting to shape up. Sable. Starting to approach Marcus. Oh, he almost kissed it. As we are on board with Sable, the Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, it's a Chevy. Now with the new build out today, the speed limit on pit road has gone up to 50 miles per hour, no longer 45. So that's gonna play a role in these pit stops here. Ariani now up to third. Bobby's going to challenge for third. Here comes Bordeaux. He's not giving up. Hope you guys are enjoying the action back here so far. Here, Jason Garrett, and Nick Caressel battling. That is for seventh and eighth and ninth. They give that to the 73 of Garrett. the line lap number 20 in the book so we're going to see pit stops here very shortly now if somebody can make it to lap 25 that'll really make this race interesting there's Arian and Bobby Cheney now fourth Bordeaux back there in the sixth position. That is your top three in points. Marcus, though, has led every lap, so that is not helping the cause here. Caution 
Oh, Five caution. We got trouble. Oh, it's the 96 of Weir. That changes some things. Don't know what the white flag's out for, but okay. Let's see what happens in the 96. Malin era Jordan Malish. Oh, Malish gets into him. Oh, him and Malish in the wall hard. Let's watch this again. Ouch. Watch the number one on the speedway, though. And we shall see pit stops. And look at this strategy. Bobby Cheney going to stay out for that bonus point. As everyone else comes to pit road. Cheney going to lead that lap, I believe. Yes, he did. Ariana's line through his pit stall. Everybody four tires in fuel, it looks like. Race off pit road, Sable. This is the interesting thing I want to see here. Anybody a lap down? Let's we'll see if Bobby's able to pit here. Yes, he will come to pit road. The interesting thing here, oh, the pace car lights are off, so pit road must be, oh boy. So pit road must be close for Bobby. Well, that's gonna be interesting if that's the case for Cheney. Uh oh, I just realized that nobody was a lap down at that point. We'll get ready to go back to racing here and at lap number 25 of 70. This will make it what will likely be, I'm thinking, a, it's still going to be a two-stop race here. So Eric Sable going to be your leader, Marcus Richardson, Ariani, Jason Garrett, Nick Caressel, your top five. And it is coming, boys. Let's go wide open.
penalty for Cheney, unfortunately. I was wondering about that. Now let's hope a caution comes out for his sake or else this championship is being handed to Marcus pretty much. Uh, yes, I do tomorrow. But Eric Sable, your leader to 66, everybody's single final pretty much. First battle's back here. Pete Gates on the inside of any, of, uh, any more. The 33 there for position. Here comes the five in Orthrup. Inside the 15 of Pops. And Northrop will take that spot away. Here comes Kyle Putz now. And he'll take the spot away from Justin Gable. So far, the 96 of Mike Wheel getting turned by Jordan Malish. And I believe both cars are behind the wall. You see Cheney on that. No, they're not. They're actually playing around with each other back here. I say that, but they're not really playing around. There's Nick Russell there in the 13. And that battle for the lead is not really stretched out. Eric Sable still with that lead. Marcus Richardson trying to get him back. Up with that caution at every lap in this race. Caution out. This is huge. And it's for Pops, Yates, and I think more might have got it. We're gonna stick with our plan. That will give Bobby his lap back. Let's see what happens. Turn four again. Same thing, pops in the Yates. Same exact thing that happened to Jordan. Watch Andy Moore. <laughs> hey, one other thing I'm noticing. Anybody noticing the smoke now on the screen? Notice this, look at this. Caution out. Second time. Who comes to pit road now is the million dollar question. Should be everybody, I would think. This will make it a one stop race. Oh, Caress will stay out. And somebody's blew up. Oh, Andy Moore did. So Moore did have contact, it looks like. Either that or he downshifted one of the two. Leaders all come to pit road. Cheney should get the wave around. 
Gable slides past the spit stall, kill, kills a few crewmen. Four tires fuel. No, we got strategy. Garrett with two. There's Cheney getting that wave around. Rest of the leaders leave pit road, it looks like. These guys getting damage all fixed. Let's, uh, don't get a chance to do this. Let's uh, go talk to the point leader right now. And yes, I do have the ability to do that tonight, boys. All right, Marcus Richardson right now in the, let's see, Kressel's going to pit, so it looks like he'll be in the third position taking a restart. Marcus, how you feeling so far out there? I'm all right. I'm just, uh, just running a points race here pretty much. Just I know who I'm racing, so I really don't care about anybody else around me at this point. Well, obviously, the uh, good strategy earlier, just stay, just go with the damn thing and uh, get a little bit of strategy here. Got two tires in front of you, stable on four. Uh, obviously, you feel like you could win this thing, I'm uh, sure. Yeah, I, I can run with Sable. I just, uh, it's risk versus reward passing him, so I'm not going to really push anything right now. All right, Marcus. Well, good luck, and uh, we'll see what happens. Yep. Marcus there in the, he'll be now third, taking the restart here. And Cheney probably getting tires. Let's see if he's already, yeah, he got his tires there. So, so he will be on four fresh. We go back to racing here and he'll be uh, making his charge back to the front. And these uh, final stages. Andy Moore gonna be the first one behind the wall. Unfortunately, his engine went kaboom. So I was talking earlier about uh, the changes for next season. Again, the one rule change will be in the points, really. Uh, that'll be the uh, bonus point for the point leader, or for the race winner. Uh, that'll come into play next season. Again, we'll be racing on Thursdays, starting November 6th will be the first race of the new season for these cars. And that'll be at Daytona, and that'll be on Thursdays uh, for the V car starting uh, November 6th. And that race will not be live, uh, because again, as I uh, talked about, I'm gonna race with these guys as much as I can um during that event so and as a matter of fact i might actually have something going on that night so i wouldn't be able to be here live anyway so november 6th for this series will be the first race and again starting next season i will be racing with the guys live on the track so uh so uh during those broadcasts we will uh, stream those after the race and i probably will not stream during the race uh, because i don't want to ruin it for everyone else seeing what's going on so with that said we'll uh, get ready to go back to racing here and yes, in case you're curious, trucks will move to Tuesday starting that week. We're going to go back to green here at lap 37. Jason Garrett going to be the leader. He's on two tires, takes the outside lane. Eric Sable in second. Marcus Richardson in third. Ariani in fourth. Brett Pancari is not here. Why is he on the screen? Anyways, Derek Bordeaux going to be fifth. Kyle Putz, Nick Northrup, Gable, Caresso, Weir, and Cheney. Your top 11. Moore and Yates still on pit road. Hey, Scar, going to pull off. Leader can go when he wants. See when Garrett takes off. And let's go wide open.
Jordan Mallow's back there having a hissy fit with his car. We got a new leader. Eric Sable has gotten past the 73 of Garrett. Here comes Ariani. They're going to go three wide to one. Down to two, cooler heads prevail. Back here, battle for fifth and sixth. Kyle puts on the inside of Bordeaux. Airy continue to push that outside lane. Oh, that was close. Marcus backing out of it, being smart. He's like, I ain't gonna be in this. That is what a championship racer will do right there. He's ahead of Bobby Chaney. Bobby's two spots behind him right there. That's all he's gotta do is finish ahead and keep Derek in his sights and don't win this thing. Very smart racing. We're gonna bring Andy Moore. Uh, Andy Moore, tough break for you there. Uh, one of the uh, rare races you're able to get out here in the 33 car. Uh, talk about what happened out there on the track. All right, apparently Andy's not here. Leave a message to me. You see them continue to battle. Garrett holding on to that second position. Marcus has fallen back to sixth. Chaney back in that eighth position. And you see Gable getting passed by Caruso for a position. Bordeaux pushing Garrett. You see Gene Yates coming off pit road. And Bordeaux gonna battle for the second position. Here we go. Garrett not giving it up. Ariani through the middle. Oh, baby, this is tight. See, Caruso, he's on the inside of Marcus now. Now that we got a quick break, let's try this again. All right, got uh, the mic working here with Andy Moore uh, down the garage. Jerry, Andy, a tough break for you in the 33. Talk about what happened. Well, coming out of uh, turn four, I saw a pop from uh, Gene right in front of me, put on the brakes. Um, I avoided pops and barely, barely ran into Gene. Came back around, was, uh, had a little bit of damage from when I got to the wall uh, earlier that lap. And coming into the pitch, it just popped on me and up and smoking went, so it was unfortunate. But uh, I didn't get to run many races this uh, this year. Up uh, Next season, I plan on running a couple more. So. Well, very good. Hope to see you out there in Daytona in two weeks. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, putting this on, Chris. All right, Andy, good job out there. Andy Moore there in the 33. Sable continuing to lead Ariani up to second now. Kyle puts a third. Derek Bordeaux to fourth, and here comes Marcus back to the front.
Marcus going to take the fifth position away. Caressel going to try to catch Garrett. Remember, Jason took those two tires early. He is starting to pay for it now. Chaney is starting to catch him back in his pack, so it's going to become a pretty interesting race here, especially if we do get to those green flag pit stops. We see all the wounded cars out here on the track. There's Pops. Gene Yates still going. Andy Moore there popped on pit road. Another new thing about the build is even though you're out of the race, your car still sits on pit road. Kind of interesting. Harry trying to catch that 66 car. Meanwhile, Marcus to the inside of Bordeaux for fourth. Oh, Marcus running up. Well, there was contact, I think. And Bobby Chaney off pit road. Early green flag pit stops here. The 99 taking a chance. I didn't see if he took two or not. Let's back it up. We'll check real quick. Did he take two or four? He went two tires. And he will join the field. Let's see what everybody else does now. Bobby going to try to use those tires to catch up a little bit. Meanwhile, that battle for the lead starting to shape up. Ariadne coming up on Sable. Oh, Sable's got some damage to that right front. Yeah, he's been in the wall, scrape it up a little bit. Puts up the third, that's Marcus now fourth. And Bordeaux gonna come to pit road. Uh-oh. Oh, Gable's in the wall hard. Bordeaux makes it to pit. Time to see where Bob, oh! Did that bring out a caution? No, but Pops has been in trouble. Pops should end up in the top 10 in championship points, which would be good for him. And Marcus to the outside of Kyle Putz for position going to take it. Wow, look at that run by Airy. That car really getting tight on N66. Here comes the 19. Going to take the lead. That damage on Sable's car kind of affected him a little bit. As we are at 15 laps to go this time by. When will the two come to pit road? Not yet. Garrett could have come to pit road though. All these cars on pit road. Pops, he's got engine issues. Northrop's on pit road. Wheel on pit road and then Garrett. Meanwhile, here's your leaders. Wow, what well, that grass boys. Lap 58 coming up, 10 laps to go. Actually, 12 right now, soon to be 10. Table just plowing with that damage. Marcus is going to probably go two tires and not a lot of fuel. Looks 
will set him up for his run. We just had to keep it up to see where Janey is. Here they come to Pitt Road. Remember, 50 mile an hour speed limits now. Everybody does here. Fuel only for Ariadne. Right side tires for Sable. And maybe some damage? No. Nope. But look at that stop by Ari. He gone. And here comes Marcus. Marcus, is that? I can't tell if that's damage to the right rear or not. Marcus gonna bring the two in. Let's see what he does. Right side tires on. Now, obviously he didn't speed on pit road, which is good there, but he's gonna be cautious coming off. There he goes, he's gone. Ariani's gonna go by. Where is Cheney? Oh, Bobby's way back here. Here's Marcus coming off the corner. Bordeaux's gonna get by him. Bobby gonna be right there with him. Your leader. Those are done, here it is, gonna be Ariadne. And now he is on no tires. He took no tires on that stop. Kyle puts the lead the lap there. What a fun season this has been. A lot of people saying they didn't like to be cars. And tell you what, with the strategy and everything involved, you've made it fun to have a sprint series like this. And we're going to bring it back next season. Nine laps to go. As soon as everything cycles through, we'll give you your updated standings here. Ariani going to be the leader. Eric Sable in second. Derek Bordeaux is in third. Battling Marcus for fourth. And then Bobby Cheney, your top five. And he is battling with Jason Garrett. And Kyle Putz. Oh, that was close. Ariadne running for his life here. He's got a really big lead. As Marcus sitting outside of Bordeaux. Lap car of uh, Yates. so oh, and Bordeaux gets loose. Got that apron. And Marcus up the third. Bordeaux going to finish third in the championship. More than likely, unless something weird happens here. And what I mean by weird is involving these guys. As long as Bobby finishes right there, he will finish second in the points. Five laps to go in the season and from Vegas. Hey, get off my screen. There we go. Just to review the season, Marcus Richardson, Tyler Ducharme, Chance Crum, David Shutt, Derek Bordeaux, 
Ariadne and Eric Sable, all winners. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven winners in 12 races. And about to be seven for 13, not a bad average. Marcus Richardson winning five of the 12. And the way it's looking, not gonna be uh, six. An impressive season in when it's all over with though. Meanwhile, Cheney has lost a spot in the puts. Here comes Garrett now. Coming up, two laps to go for Ariani, going for a second win in three races here. It'll be a second career win. He can bring that 19 back to the checkered flag. Pops back on track after getting his damage fixed. He's gonna limp it around one last time. That's Klondike car. Off of turn four, the white flag is out. Ariani on his final lap. AC Bobby back there still challenging with, with uh, Garrett, but it's going to be too little, too late for him. He's a newcomer to the league, and he's already got two wins. Ariani going to score the victory here in Las Vegas. Meanwhile, Marcus Richardson is the champion of the JTT Series. Everybody sending their congrats. We'll uh, get with the drivers. We'll talk with the top three from the race, and then we'll get with the top three from the championship, which some of them are involved in both. Talk with Eric Sable first is what we'll do here. User was moved to your channel. Go talk with Eric Sable first. Uh, second place finisher here uh, tonight at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway in the Buffalo Wild Wings car. First off, uh, what wings do you prefer? Ah, just mild. Did you bring any for me? Ah, uh, I had the bones. I ate the bones? All right, very good. <laughs> uh, nice job there to 66. I saw a little bit of damage to the right side. Talk about your race a little bit. Uh, the race was pretty good. The setup was a little tight, but uh, overall, it was a fun, fun race. The setup wasn't in my liking. I could drive it just like last week at Bristol, but Bristol was just perfect for me. I got down with the braking and gas combination, and I was really good there. And I come here setting this week, and you know, just try to keep the dominance going. Maybe next season. I don't know if you guys run in another season, but it'd be nice. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings Camaro was good all night, though. Uh, couldn't get the team any better. Team is great. Uh, we will be running that season, uh, actually, to uh, answer your question. It will be starting November 6th, which is a Thursday night. We're going to switch the trucks and cars around and run this series Thursday night. So you'll be uh, able to join us. Oh, that's great. I can't wait. All right, man. But, well, uh, send a shout out whoever you want. Um, thanks for putting this on. Uh, broadcasting. You do a great job. You know, you just, you're perfect for the broadcasting spot. So let's keep it up. We'll save her for me on the track next season. Tenfold. All right, but good job. Thanks. All right, let's go get Ariadne, our winner. 
user was moved to your channel. Got Ariadne winner tonight, his second win in three races. Ari, a very nice job out there on the track. I know you were uh, kind of riding a little bit there early, but uh, was able to pounce when you needed to. Yeah, yeah just like you said, I was riding for um, that first uh, run. Uh, throughout the night, I knew I didn't have the fastest car by far, but um, uh, I figured it was going to come down to uh, strategy if we um, kept the uh, cautions uh, away. So uh, just kind of got lucky there at the end. I uh, fought my way up front, and then, um, uh, yeah, just the uh, pitch strategy just worked out. And yeah, talking about that, you were the only one that went with uh, no tires there, and it looked like you are able to pull away and, or at least run – the same lap times around the same lap times as the uh, 66 yeah well i figured um if i could get into pit road pretty uh pretty good pretty well and um i get out with you know the the without taking any tires i'd have a pretty good lead and they just wouldn't have much time to uh catch up and thankfully it worked out this time well very nice job for you there in the uh 19 why don't you send a shout out whoever you'd like to uh, Mr. Thomas, I think it is the um, or uh, the guy who oh, um, Jonathan sponsored this. Yeah, Jonathan. Yeah, for uh, sponsoring the uh, this league. Uh, it's too bad I only got to race uh, three races, but um, uh, and you for obviously for uh, for hosting these and um, all the guys racing out tonight in this season. Uh, hopefully, I'll be there for a couple more races next season. Yeah, we'll be uh, running, as we mentioned, on Thursday here in this series. So uh, starting uh, November 6th, so hopefully we'll see you out here with us. I hope so. All right, bud. Congratulations. Thanks, sir. We'll send Ari back up. We'll go talk to Derek Bordeaux now, the third-place finisher in the points. User was moved to your channel. Well, Derek Bordeaux, good effort for you. You're going to finish fourth this evening. Uh unofficially third in the championship. i got to figure out how to load these standings up because it's all different, but uh, nice job out there. Yeah, um, it was fun racing this season. Had a pretty competitive feel. If uh, Marcus wouldn't be so strong, it would have been <laughs> more fun, but I had a challenge. That's what I like. That's why I race here. I have challenge pretty. Maybe if I had to say something that I didn't like, maybe the fuel... Because, I don't know, this driver preference, I don't like tight setup, but oh well. It was pretty good. The race was really good. I kind of messed up there, got in the wall, 21 second of optional, kind of screwed my race over. Work with what I had. Had a two-tire on the last pit stop. Thought it would work, but Harry took none, so maybe I should have gotten none. But overall, a great season, great race. Yeah, you did a great job, and uh, nothing you could do... Uh... Uh, first off, we appreciate your opinion, obviously, and stuff, and we uh, obviously are looking into that. And um, but with that said, though, send a shout out to whoever you want to, and uh, you know you got third in the championship, which is nothing to be ashamed of. You got a win at Watkins Glen, uh, which was cool, and as a matter of fact, a fun race too. And uh, but yeah, send a shout out whoever you want to before we take off. Yeah, I'd like to shout out uh, you for putting this league up, uh, SRA Fish for painting me this car, and uh, Marcus for winning the championship. Good job to on him. All right, Derek, nice job on your fourth. Congratulations, third in points. Yeah, thank you. User was moved out of your channel. And there, Bobby Cheney now. We'll bring him down here. User was moved to your channel. Perfect. Got him at the open mic, which is always awesome. But uh, Bobby Cheney joining us uh, unofficially second in points. I guess i got to figure out how to put the standings up, which we'll figure that out later. Um, but obviously, let a lap. Kind of paid for it when it was over with. Uh, but still a good run, and, uh, I mean, is there anything you could have done to get Marcus? No. No, this is this, – this setup was way too tight for me, way out of my uh, – the way I like it. I knew Marcus was pretty much had it wrapped up, unless he wrecked, because, like I said, I, I – there's no way. <laughs> I tried – I gave it all I had, you know, with what I was dealt with, and that was the best I can do. I stayed out to lead that lap, and I forgot it was a quickie caution, and then I was having some computer issues, too. And I just took the black flag. I had to pit because I only had two gallon of fuel. I had two laps of fuel left, and it, uh, like I said, my computer was acting up. So I just took it and got that caution and got back on lead lap and was gonna try two tires and drive the wheels off of it. So can't say I didn't try. I mean, I tried as best I could, but way too tight for me, man. 
Uh, he still had a great job, still finished second in points unofficially. I'm pretty sure Derek ain't catching you. Um, but uh, still, great job. Send a shout-out whoever you want to. I want to thank you guys for putting this on and broadcasting and everything else. It was fun. Had a lot of fun. It's, you know, it's ain't, I hate this car, actually, but I had fun, so that's all that matters. There you go. Well, nice job, Bobby. Yep. We'll slide Bobby up. We'll go get our champ here, Marcus Richardson. Bring him on down here. And he just, of course, gets all the champagne spray at the right time. Good job, Marcus. Thank you. Appreciate it. Next time, warm me on goggles. Uh, champion, nice job. Thank you. It's uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a good race. And uh, I'm glad it was a great season. Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, you pulled up five wins out of the 13 starts in this series. Uh, you didn't win for about four or five weeks. I know one or two you missed. But still, coming out here, running consistent, uh, which is, I mean, along with the wins, going to be the key to winning championships. Yeah, that was my goal. I knew I was going to miss some races, so I tried to maximize my performance when I could. And then when I didn't have anything, just try and get a nice solid finish. We did a great job. Uh, talk about the race a little bit there. I know you backed off towards the middle part because you saw them getting racy up there. You're like, I'm not having a part of this. Yeah, I, was, uh, I wasn't I was running. There was no point in me running with them two and three wide when I wasn't racing them for anything. So I just backed off. And I, I was a lot better than what I think than what I showed. But, uh, I mean, I just there was no point of doing that and end up getting caught up in something. So just tried to play it safe. Well, great job out there, and uh, send your shout-out to whoever you'd like to. Uh, give a shout-out to Ari on his win, and uh, Bobby and uh, Derek there for their finishes in the points. They uh, they kept me honest and ran really hard there during the race, and uh, sucks Bobby had something wrong with his computer or something, I think he said. And uh, Thanks, everybody, at One and Done Motorsports, and uh, Kyle Putz. <laughs> and, and, I don't know, it's just so many people think, I don't know. It's just, uh, it was good to win. All right. Well, nice job, Marcus. Congratulations. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Thank you and your uh, father for putting this on. Absolutely. We'll see you next season. Well, we'll see you Thursday, truckers. Yep. All right. We'll drag Marcus up here. Was moved out of your channel. We're going to come up here real quick to the SRA channel. This ought to be dangerous. Channel switch. It was like seeing like they, uh, it just kept chopping so bad. FYI, guys, I figured I'd put you on the stream real quick to let you know Tyler's over here bragging about six wins. We had about himself again. I figured I'd let you know. I tell you what, Bristol, it's sweet with the black walls. All right. Tyler. <laughs> All right, so having a little fun with Tyler Ducharme. Look at that. So, anyways, uh, let's go to wrap it up for the uh, race. Let's take a look at our final standings here on the season. Um, do, 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 button right there. There we go. Ariadne going to be the winner. Eric Sable going to finish second. Richardson in third. Derek Bordeaux fourth. Kyle puts in fifth. Bobby Cheney sixth. Jason Garrett seventh. Caresso in eighth. Garrett uh, Gable in ninth. And Northrop going to finish 10th. Mike Wheel going to finish 11th. Jordan Malish 12th. Yates 13th. Tops 14th. And Andy Moore going to be the 15 racers to finish on the season. So uh, definitely a fun one. We're all done with the B car, though, for uh, right now and for a couple weeks. We'll come back with it November 6th. Remember, Thursday, November 6th. The new B car series will start in Thursdays, uh, starting November 6th. So with that being said, appreciate you guys watching. I'll get the points updated as soon as this stuff gets figured out. I have no clue. New builds got me confused now, too. So um, unfortunately, I'm not able to figure out how many points it is in the end. Uh, if I had to guess, Cheney finished... Sixth, Marcus finished third. A couple bonus points for Marcus. He led the most laps, I would believe. Bobby led one. Should be around six or seven when it's all over with. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, next race for me, broadcast wise, will be tomorrow night. We'll have uh, the Noble Daytona race. I'll be uh, racing in that one, so you can come watch. Uh, as for the SRA guys, uh, we will get your races made up that I missed this weekend because I was out of town uh, going into the weekend. So, I uh, just want to let you guys know that. So, enjoy. Thanks, guys. Have a great night.